hello everyone today i am going to work on this map so like this so as you can see when i press m uh, the map opens and you can see some checkpoints that i have placed in the world uh, and these red icons are actually enemies so here my player character is near the B checkpoint so you can see in black the player character and if I exit because it takes longer to walk to this distance in the game so these are the NPC characters that I have placed so if I play the game right here you can see in the minimap also these NPC characters actually minimap is updated real time as they move if I press M you can see these enemies in this main map as well so right so let's see how to implement these things today and just like that one more thing so I can uh, if I duplicate one more enemy like this you can see in the map it is automatically updated see here is the new enemy and in the main map also we can see that you can see that um, think they they are covered by another icon so yeah and also similarly if I duplicate this one over there and play the game and if I open the map you can see now two house icons this is the checkpoint that I just duplicated so everything is updated real time so yeah let's see how to do these things today okay so so we have already fixed the minimap and it is working but the world map is still that the present map uh, we had before so now I'm going to change the map the full map that opens when I press M to match this open world template map okay first let me open the map blueprint uh, map widget okay so this is what we have and um, here let me change this to a thousand by thousand so a square map and use this open world map okay and now we need to modify uh, where is it ah, in the heart when we open the map we need to modify the way we show the icons in the main map because it doesn't match the logic that we already have to the current map so we can already see the complete world map but we don't see any icons here so okay so here is the art and when we toggle map this is how we show the icons we get 
so here we update icons that means we get all the actors that implement map item interface and add icons that match the location of these items so location so init icon okay so here what we get is rotation and icon size icon and location so these are the things we get and we need to update this init token function so it is implemented in this widget map icon so this is just a image displayed in a canvas panel and we calculate its position using this logic so we don't have to do any changes to these two parts the setting size and setting the angle so we only need to change the location set position so here how do we get this 500 and 583 i think this i think that match does that match the middle point no all right so actually if let me copy this icon and paste it here temporarily just to identify the edges so if i want to put sorry move the icon to this top left mm. it's here 500 and minus 500 so the so those are the values i should have instead of this 500 is okay this one is minus uh, sorry not minus this one is also 500 because this time we have a complete square map not uh, unlike the one we had before and this uh, multiplier I think instead of this we can use the multiplier that we found out that matches the proportions of this map in where did I use it Value. let's try that So if I want if the object is in this edge that means the location is uh, 100,000 and 100,000 see so that's the edge so here what matches with hundred thousand to hundred thousand is this one 500 minus 500 so therefore 
by 100 divided by 100,000 0 0.005 I think that's the value we should have here Oh, hold on a second. Actually, we don't need this part here. The reason is the 0, 0 point is actually the middle of the map. So it matches with the middle point of this image as well. So, yeah, we don't really need this part. So we can directly connect x like this and y this way and on the only thing is i have to multiply this with the minus one because the top means zero the top means minus bottom means plus I mean here you see y position is minus 500 here y position is plus 500 let's check now see okay now it works correctly So the NPC characters, let me go closer here. Now they all of them are looking forward as in here. Now let's wait till they move and see now they are updated. Uh, this is actually that test image I put. testing so I can remove it <coughs> cool everything is working as it should and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye. In future, I wish to work on this like uh, zooming in, zooming out map and uh, pan in the map. And also things like fast travel to some checkpoint, some distant checkpoint. So yeah, let's see how to do those things in future.